what a guardianship is in Massachusetts. There are guardianships and there are conservatorships. A guardianship specifically has to deal with either a minor or an incapacitated adult that needs regular daily care and decision making. And so what the guardianship allows you to do, if it's a child, they allow you to make school decisions, everyday parenting decisions, and gives you the power to take care of the child as if the child were actually yours. A conservatorship, on the other hand, has to deal with the financial aspect of it. So if you had to manage someone's money and, and deal with income or assets, then you would apply for a conservatorship. What is most common though is the guardianship. And you could have a guardianship of a minor child or there are also guardianships for incapacitated adults. The applications for those two different uh, things, a minor versus an incapacitated adult, there is a different process, um, different forms that you would have to fill out for each one. But the main goal is to be able to take care of the person and to be able to make decisions about their life. One thing that's important to note also about guardianships of minors is that a guardianship does not terminate parental rights. And that is something that people are confused about a lot of the times because they think, oh, I'm the guardian, I can do whatever I want, which is true up to a point. So if you have a guardianship of a child and their parents are still alive, still involved, they can still have some impact on how the, the child's life proceeds. And that guardianship could be temporary or it could be permanent. And so when you initially apply for a guardianship, what the judge will do is initially give you a temporary guardianship that lasts for 90 days. And after that, you have to return to court to have it extended. It can become permanent after an evidentiary hearing, or if it's not contested, the judge can make it permanent without an evidentiary hearing.